and you're starting to report. All right. My name is Nick Alcon, and this is my tragic story, the game winner. There was a kid named Christopher Hernandez. He was one of the captains of his high school soccer team. Christopher was playing a qualifying match to qualify for the tournament, but got tackled so hard that he had a broken neck. Christopher was so depressed for not, not, not being able to play that he started getting into a drinking ad addiction without his parents knowing. He didn't do anything all day until after two months he was recovering from his injury. Christopher was ready for the finals. He was fully recovered for the injury but still had the drinking addiction that no one knew about. He wanted to start but couldn't so he was benched. The game is tied 2-2 with 10 minutes left and coach decides to bring in Christopher. With his first two touches of the game, he scores the goal that wins his high school team the championship. His teammates were, were so hyped that they decided to have a party with alcohol, and since Christopher had the, that addiction, he was okay with it. Christopher started with drinking way too much that he started getting drunk and was going crazy, so he went into the kitchen to get the keys of his friend's dad's car and drove off drunk, but sadly crashed and died. Yeah. <laughs> Gingerbread Cookies by Brendan Aldrich. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Gingerbread, and she was really low. She really loved chocolate chip cookies. However, Gingerbread, her older brother, was really jealous that Gingerbread had cookies. Gingerbread walks into the front yard with the basket of cookies in her hand. As she goes outside to get the mail, she puts her basket of cookies down. For just a moment, she gets the mail out of the box and suddenly, the basket disappears! Come on. Gingerbread spots Ginger Ale with the corner of her eye and sees him running off to God knows where with the basket. So. Gingerbread starts chasing him through the town, yelling, Stop! 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 However, he does not stop running until he reaches the beach. He is at the top of the rocky cliff of the beach, and Ginger Ale says, If you want this basket, you have to get through me. Wait. Gingerbread runs up to Ginger Ale and smacks Gingerbread straight across the face. Ginger Ale's face was dented inward. Ginger Ale took Gingerbread's basket and threw it off the rocky cliff. Gingerbread jumped off the cliff with the basket but hit her head on one of the pointy rocks as she fell down a nasty tumble. She woke up in one of the best places she could ever be in, food heaven. Not only was food heaven, it was slumber party heaven too. All the spirits that came from girls' dead bodies would gather up in a big group and throw a huge slumber party. All they would do is talk about boys. The main boy that they would talk about 24-7 was Ginger Ale. And Gingerbread said furiously, Ginger Ale! Gingerbread one day saw a boy skateboarding in the food and slumber party heaven. As the boy was skateboarding, he fell right off onto his neck. <laughs> Gingerbread ran over to the boy that fell onto his neck and said, Oh my God, are you okay? The boy said, Wow, now I'm okay. So Gingerbread found her new boyfriend and they both really got to know each other and love each other a lot. <laughs> Gingerbread went to the beach one day with her boyfriend and she is having a magnificent time with him. They are walking on the beach holding hands, being two lovebirds. But what they don't realize is Ginger Ale is stalking Gingerbread. Gingerbread goes into the creepy woods alone by herself with no one else. She is looking for a knife that her boyfriend gave her but dropped it in the woods and cannot find it. 
As she is looking for a knife, Ginger Ale pops out of the blue. Gingerbread tries to run, but Ginger Ale grabbed her with his fierce grip and threw her right to the ground like she was nothing. Ginger Ale sat right on top of her and said, I am here to get my revenge on you. In an evil voice. Gingerbread tried to push Ginger Ale off, but he was too heavy. As Ginger Ale kept forcing Gingerbread down with his weight, he took a gun out of the back of his pocket. Ginger Ale said, I am going to end you now, Gingerbread. Gingerbread says to herself, this is the end. As Ginger Ale is about to end her life, but right next to her hand she saw was the knife that she was looking for. Gingerbread took her knee and knee Ginger Ale right in the balls. <laughs> Ginger Ale was in pain and rolled off <laughs> of Ginger Ale as he said, Ooh! She picked up the knife and stabbed Ginger Ale right in the neck. <laughs> Gingerbread said, It's all over now. I am free. And. Don't put that down! Miguel. Miguel's boxing match by Jake, which is me. Once upon a time in the urban city of New York, there was a child who lived unlike many other children in this very populated city. He was a descendant of a very wealthy family and never experienced the life of the poor. Miguel's childhood dream was to become a gold medalist in, in the Olympics for boxing. Um, as Miguel grew older, <coughs> he lost focus on his goal and made bad decisions with his money. He went out and wasted on food and other unnecessary things. He was unaware that his money was slowly decreasing in profit and that soon enough he would be broke. As time passed, Miguel would soon become a news reporter for the New York Times newspaper company. One day when he was doing a report after, uh, after the report, he was approached by a man in a black suit and asked him, Hey, you're interested in trying a new experiment? I designed it myself. It increases muscle tone and strength. Miguel was eager to try it because he needed something to help him for the qualifiers match this summer to enter the Olympics. Almost immediately, Miguel started to feel the effects of the stories, and his muscles became huge. Miguel thanked the strange man and ran back home before the man could tell him that the steroids had a side effect, side effect that could kill him. Uh, when Miguel got home that day, his father offered to help train him. Miguel's dad was a three-time gold medal winner in the Olympics for boxing, so he needed this training. Um. Miguel worked hard day and night every night until the day finally came for his time to shine. Miguel had reached the gold medal match against a European boxer. The bell rang and they started to fight. Miguel landed the first couple jabs on the European and began to lose some energy, but the European still kept fighting and landed some hard hits up to the chest, which made Miguel nearly faint. The side effect to uh, the pain started to kick in from the steroids. Then Miguel said. Miguel started to get, um, Warm and sweat a lot, and, the, and then the European landed a deadly blow to the face, which led Miguel to pass out in the ring. Miguel would lay in the ring with medics surrounding him and the crowd cheering and some booing. The medics checked Miguel's heart rate, and suddenly it stopped. Miguel would then have to be carried out, and they would soon announce that Miguel has died. D. Add me on Snapchat. <laughs>